Whoa, whoa, it's me, your host, Mr. WG, and you're watching the spicy news. Dear subscribers, in today's video, I'm going to tell you about why authorities say three dead as Russia opens a criminal probe into the last that blew up the vital bridge linking Moscow and next Crimea to the mainland. Any probe report cleared that it was planned by Ukrainian President Zelensky to take revenge of Russia attacked on Ukraine. Dear subscribers, a key bridge linking the Crimean Peninsula with mainland Russia has been partially destroyed in a truck explosion, Russian media reported, putting at risk a key supply route for Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine. The Speaker of Russia's lower house of parliament, the Duma, called it an act of war. As the country's investigative committee said on Saturday, it had initiated a criminal case in connection with the incident on the Crimean Bridge, adding that a truck was blown up. The bomb particles and parts proved that this bomb was made in Ukraine and reason was to take revenge of Russia-Ukraine war. Dear subscribers, according to preliminary information, this morning on the automobile part of the Crimean Bridge from the side of the Man Peninsula, a truck was blown up which caused seven fuel tanks to ignite on a train heading towards the Crimea Peninsula, the committee said. Three people have been found dead so far as the result of the truck explosion, Russia's investigative committee said. They are believed to be passengers of a car that was near the truck that exploded was a spy of Ukrainian army, and he was sent by Ukraine's spy agency to take revenge of Russian war with Ukraine. Dear subscribers, Ukrainian presidential adviser Mykhailo meanwhile suggested late Saturday that Moscow was involved in the blast but Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shogu said this bomb was made by Ukrainian army. It is worth noting that the truck that detonated according to all indications entered the bridge from the Russian side. So the answers should be sought in Russia, he said, in comments released by the presidency. Ukrainian officials celebrated the incident but did not claim responsibility with the head of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council. Oleksiy Danilov posting a video of the burning bridge on media after seconds of blast disconnects the investigation not with Ukraine. Dear subscribers, it is for today. I will meet you in next video. Till then, kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Take care.